Hello. Hello. Nice to have you here after Belfast. How did you start your journey? When did you decide to have a um, surgery? When did you, you know, how did you book and why did you book? That kind of stuff. Yeah. So let's start. Obviously, you had a gastric sleeve surgery. Yeah. Two days ago. Yeah. Wednesday the 12th. That's right. Okay, so today is day three. You are on the roof of Radisson um, Hotel. Yeah, on my holiday. <laughs> on your holidays. And you didn't come for surgery at all, no, did you? No, not at all. Um, did you actually think that you will be here feeling this good when you no. decided to have the surgery? Absolutely not. No, I am. I think people always tell you the bad stories. No one ever tells you the good stories. So whenever I was telling people I was coming here, they're like, oh, my friend on that and ended up so sick. And so even, as you say, just being here and feeling like I am on holiday rather than recovering from surgery from mm -hmm. two days ago is just amazing. The reason, obviously, we are here because we can, um, if need be, you know, I can get you back to the hospital yeah in less than 10 minutes yeah. so that's important and also um one thing that we um we kind of um pride ourselves like we think we prepare the um you know people who's planning to have a surgery properly so we know what they know what to yeah. expect when they get here so did you come to our consultation day in Belfast? no no i don't remember that's why i was asking you so you didn't come to the consultation day but you met up with um jackie yeah so how did that process um happen um so i have known people who went with jackie in the past uh -huh. um i've been researching this for a year now yeah. i have looked at lots of different companies um i was actually so close to booking with another company oh really uh, yeah um and i know and my friend <laughs> was going to come with me um but I'd never heard of anybody ever going with that company before. Uh -huh. And personal experience to me was very important. And I uh -huh. needed to see people who have went through the surgery, came to the same hospital, done the exact same process. So whenever I had spoke to them, it was they recommended Jackie and yourselves. So mm -hmm. and just by seeing their progress was what really made like me come with you. Like yeah, talking about it. So you obviously um, spoken to Jackie. Jackie's got the surgeon involved. You got approved for the procedure. You came here. So what did Jackie describe you that was going to happen? Did it happen in the hospital? Yeah. Did it? Okay. So you you remember all your tests yeah. and all your consultations? Yeah. So, so um, do you want me just to go through yes, the please. start? So whenever we got into the hospital, like she said, that we would go through and um, get our x-rays done, get mm -hmm. our BMI, our height, all that was done. You know, I was expecting all that to happen. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next day, um, just all my bloods and stuff were taken just to make sure that everything was okay. And the next day then that was us ready to go. Mm -hmm. So you had the consultations basically um, the night before um, with your BMI, with your x-ray, you had your ECG and the next day you had the um, the ultrasound and yeah. so you've seen all the specialist doctors, you've seen yeah. the cardiologist, you've seen the yeah. psychiatrist, you've seen that's the... That's really, the cardiology yes. point in the ECG is really important to me because my dad yeah. has a heart condition, uh -huh. um, which is hereditary, so that was um, one thing that my parents were worried about, you know, if because this is a hereditary mm -hmm. condition, you know, and if my heart was okay. So I was able to phone my mum and say, I've seen the cardiologist, I've had an ECG, everything was good. So that mm -hmm. really then put her mind at ease as well. Yeah, probably the effects of, you know, carrying the weight it has on your heart is, yeah. you know, it's riskier than. Yeah. Um, so that's all been done. Did you feel the staff, the House Door Turkey staff, you know, how did you find them in the hospital? Oh, they're amazing. Were they? Yeah. Oh, did they pay you? No, okay. but I think I cried. Did I cry on you? <laughs> I was just sobbing when I woke up from surgery and just having somebody, I don't know, it was just the feeling of coming out of surgery and actually I'm still alive was just so overwhelming. <laughs> um, but just knowing that there was somebody there who I recognised from going into surgery and um, then was there with me every step of the way just meant so much. Yes, I mean, uh, obviously we have the patient coordinators, translators there 24-7. Uh, every time a nurse and doctor comes into your room, they come with you. So yeah. that's basically, that overcomes the language barrier. But um, for me, the, that little touch going into the, you know, the surgery and be there till you're asleep and actually have that person there 
to, yeah. to wake up to. That's, I think, is important because I remember when I went up for the surgery, I felt quite alone. And all I wanted to do was have another dance just in case I didn't wake up again. Yeah. And I was asking them, could you put some music on? Can we have a little dance? And then, um, but I could speak Turkish. Um, that's basically... It's just all these really like, yeah. illogical thoughts go through your head, yeah. you know. Um, I know. You are going to wake up again, but it's just yeah. that whole fear. And it's just obviously the way I react to it whenever I went to surgery, it's cry. Did you have other surgeries before? Or was yeah, this I had surgery? Um, my gallbladder taken out. So, oh, so it's quite similar. It was very similar. It's the uh -huh. same um, incisions and everything. So I just thought when I woke up, that's the way. And I also woke up crying from that surgery too. So <laughs> I just don't do well under anaesthetic. Uh, so you actually you knew about the, the, yeah. the effects of it yeah but obviously what's important for us now like for me to know as well was the aftercare um explained to you properly so do you feel like you're valid coop to go home you also got it in your head and you know you you know you have the support yeah of your you know like your support team you have your psychiatrist we have our company counselor and we have our dietitians you have jackie you yeah. have the whole team to support you going forward so yeah. you're not on your own on this journey so do you actually feel yeah i can do this yeah do you? i do good you yeah. do feel empowered by the team Absolutely. that they're behind you and just even having them coming in she say like the dietitians coming in explaining everything and um, to think because it is a whole change of diet you know it's very very important um, and I know through research in other companies, there was some companies that didn't have that years, sort of, yeah. you know. Um, so that was a really big thing for me to make mm -hmm. sure that there was that follow up there. I'll explain how we do it. Obviously, we do it in a way that um, because we know the surgery part of it is probably the quickest and easiest part of the whole journey. Yeah. And so you have, we now have from day, you know, two, uh, day three of the surgery till the 18 months to reach our target weight. But whilst we're doing our, whilst we're reaching our target weight we're changing our habits lifetime habits to make new good habits and getting to a healthier and fitter life it's a case of um you have to have that team behind you to make that happen yeah to prepare you properly it's the case of even you go out shopping and you you'll always say oh that's nice and um, but you don't know whether you should be having that or not yeah just having that support team and just taking a picture and sending it to Tutko or Bellis and all you're doing is like, oh, can I have this? The girls will get back to you. Yeah, like, you, you, that's they, you, good to know. Yeah. So they, you know because you don't think, oh, should I have that? You know, let's not do that. Let's ask and then let them tell you so what's right and what's wrong way of doing it and get you to reach your target weight. Yeah. And after that, you can make your choices. What's important for me is the first six months. So first six weeks. After that, if you want to sabotage your sleeve, you can. Yeah. Because I know it's not going to cost you your life. Yeah. <laughs> and, but don't do it in the no. first six weeks. And I beg you, like, we will come and sit in the house with you if you want me to. But uh, <laughs> but I know that, you know, I know the girls have done a great job. Just as long as you know, you've got them. You know, yeah. you got us. you got me. I'm in your group. I'm not going anywhere. So I knew up in Belfast and I'm literally an hour and 20 minutes down the road from yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. And um, any questions that you wanted to ask me or anything that you kind of like, I think people should know? Um, just whenever people do do the research, you know, and whenever they need to find things out that you mm -hmm. had at all that I needed and what I wanted. So that's really... Did it matter that what materials were being used to do your surgery? Yeah. Did it? Yeah. Okay. So we never mentioned that and we need to kind of like mention that more often because the cost can differ so much. Yeah. Cost can only differ for reasons if you're cutting corners. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to do this as economically as possible, but yeah. I know how much it costs me. I know I know how much money I make. So I'm like, going, hmm, how can that be half of what I... But cheaper's not always better, you know? Yes, <laughs> we know that. <laughs> it's not. And, and also, like, okay, we need to mention that, you know, more and more, because when you're doing your research, ask people, uh, you know, ask, you know, what materials being used? Are they being used to manufacturers, you know, guidelines? You know, yeah. if something that, you know, the ligature, if it was being used for, the manufacturer is saying four to six times, are they doing 20 surgeries and are you the 20th person? Yeah. And we know how many surgeries a day we do. Yeah. And it's never... Because Jackie was able to tell me about, like, the staples and stuff uh -huh. that were used. You know, they're the best quality. Mm -hmm. And there's other ones that are used and aren't of best quality. So that was one thing that really drew me as well. You know, knowing that, as you say, it's the... There is a... Yeah. Okay. That there is a difference there.
And also, like um, the contracts that we're going kind to of putting in front of you to sign is I'm guaranteeing that yes, my surgeon will only do our surgeries. Yes, you know the hospital patient and nurse patient and doctor ratio is you know at a certain level. Yeah. And the service like you know our staff is there 24/7. So, I mean, all of these things is there. Like I'm, um, I'm obviously I come from a business background. Like uh, I call them, you know, it's SLAs, um, service level agreements. They have to provide me, provide me with that because there are penalties they will have to pay yeah. so when you're doing your research i think that is the main thing for i always ask me because it's not possible for me to do every single surgery coming to turkey so but all i ask for um people when they're doing their research do it right read the reviews are they real people did you do that yeah did you yeah because um as i said i was going to go with another company and i just didn't really you know you get that feeling you know you know yeah. um some things are just too good to be true so um because then i knew people had came with yourselves mm -hmm. before i was i'd rather go with somebody who i know is reliable and is 100 real you know than take that's a big risk you're taking it's your life and your health so she's getting sunburned guys <laughs> what <laughs> look i like the she's, sun <laughs> do you like the sun do you? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh my god, I'm looking, I keep catching, like, she's burning, she's burning, we get a sunburn. Okay, um, thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to catching up with you in yes. Belfast. Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you, New. Thanks.